That's right. Good morning, everybody. Morgen allemaal, ek hoop het gaan goed met elk een van jullie. Ek wil net gaan gehoor, is daar enige van jullie wat vir ons vinnig hulle wil sê voor ons begin? Is there any of you that quickly wants to say hello before we start? Ah, oh, so, in ons chatbox het ons vir Taryn. Hallo Taryn, hallo Noma Temba. Is daar nog enige van jullie wat graag wil hallo sê voor ons begin? Ons het nog een minuut om hallo te sê. Meneer Klee, ek unmute jou. Goeiemorgen, Morgen, morgen, meneer Klee, hoe gaan dit? Ek is goed en jou. Met my gaan het baie goed, dankie, meneer Klee. Nee? Yes. Do you ever miss going outside? <laughs> You can go outside this afternoon, Monique Claire. Yeah. I'm sick. <laughs> okay, I can go Zoe. I'm here to allow to say. Good morning, Yefrau. Morning, Zoe. How are you? Good, thank you. And you? With me, it's going to be good. Thank you, Zoe. It's good. It's good. Morgen Nicole, ek sê Nicole, het vir hulle gesê in die kletsbox. Is daar nog enige van julle wat graag hulle wil sê voor ons begin? Is there any of you that quickly wants to say hello before we start? Ok, goed. Good morning everybody. Goeiemorgen allemaal. Welkom terug by die Afrikaanse klas. Welcome back to Afrikaans. Dit is so lekker om julle allemaal weer te sien. Dit is my rarig lekker om vir julle school te hou. Julle maak my werk vir my rarig lekker. Goed. Ons het gister directe en indirecte rede behandel. Is daar van julle wat graag vir my wil vertel? Wat verstaan julle onder directe rede en indirecte redes? Is there any of you guys that would quickly like to tell me what the difference is before, between um, direct speech and reported speech? Is daar enige van julle wat gauw vir my kan verskil geef tussen een directe rede en een indirecte rede? Bandile, ek gaan jou unmute. Um, I wanted to say that I couldn't watch the videos because there was load shedding. Mm -hmm. It's fine, Bandile, but I did receive your homework. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma'am. It's fine. You can just watch the videos whenever you have time, Bandile. It is only for your own benefit because it has a lot of information on direct um, re um, speech and in, in reported speech. Okay. So whenever you, you, whenever you have time, my dear, you can go watch it. Dankie, Bandile. Ek gaan jou mute. As I, um, Zoe, ek gaan jou gaan unmute. Zoe, ek gaan mute jou. In de rekstrede het nie hakies nie het nie nie twee punte nie en het nie dat nie and that and that had me angst you can me oh my thank you zawi and direct read had had to a panda that had me that me and that had an angst you can Ok, sê net gaf my weet, dus ek kon nie hoor nie, indirekte rede, het hulle aanhalingstekens of het directe rede aanhalingstekens? Zoe? Ja. Directe rede hmm? het aanhalingstekens, 
en een directe rede het nie aan aanhalingstekens nie. Baie mooi, dankie Zoe. Jy is welkom. Goed, my nienke, ek gaan jou aanmeet. Mevrouw? Yes, my nienke. In directe rede, daar is twee twee hissing in a pinte. En daar is se, which is se, seis, in indirect in directe rede daar is se, which is said, daar is nie, daar is nie, pinta nie, en daar is dat, en daar is, daar is nie, harsing nie. Daar is nie wat nie? Sê dankie, meneer Klee. Jy is welkom. Jy is ouwelik vir oogend, oukies. Goed. Ons het gister directe en indirecte redes gedoen. In kort, directe rede is, wanneer jy iemandse woorde precies net so aanhaal. En hy kom altyd in aanhalingstekens. Dit is iemandse precieze woorde. Dit is woord vir woord wat hulle gesê het. In directe rede is wanneer jy iets oor vertel wat iemand anders gesê het. It's when you tell something that someone else has said. It's not word for word the own words. Dit is nie woord vir woord sy eie woorde nie. Goed. Ek het by een van die ander jyfrouwens die ouwelikste slide gekry, as jy hom graag wil afskryf, dit is rarig my goeie verduideliking, reel vir die indirecte rede. Ek gaan jy gauw twee minuut gee om af te skryf, waas die selle vir ons, as jy hom oorskryf in die indirecte rede, dan remove the inverted commas in the colon, daar die gaan weggaan, en dan after sê, word dat bygesit, en dat die werkwoord na die einde toe skuif. En onthou, die voornaam woord verander dan. En dit is sê, dat hy baie goed Engels praat. Hierdie was my vreselike, oulike verduideliking van een van die ander jiffies. So, ek ga julle gauw my net gee, skryf gauw af en stier vir my een vinnige jes, as jy klaar is en ons kan aanbeweeg. Dit was my baie oulike verduideliking. This was a very good example of how to write a direct speech into a reported speech. So skryf dit vinnig af, quickly write that down and send me a yes when you guys are finished, please. So we can move on. Malik, ek unmute jou. Ma'am, I don't understand. Okay. This was an example from another teacher that I thought was very well explained. It was our um, example. Andrew said, Ek praat baie goed Afrikaans. So this sentence is in direct speech. Do you see that, Malik? Yes, ma'am. So if I would like to put this a sentence in an indirect speech or a reported speech, I'm going to say, Andrew say, Andrew say, then I'm going to add that, hi, baie goed Engels praat. Let me quickly show you the example. Don't see the example here gedoen. Andrew say that, hi, baie goed Engels praat. So this teacher just went and, um, explained it like this and I thought this was a very well a very great example I had to put it in for you guys so basically what's going to happen first remove the inverted commas and the colon 
you're going to take this away. You can hierdie leestekens wegvat, wat die aanhalingstekens en die dubbelpunt is. After you've done that, um, after, now say, you're going to add dot. Dot is Afrikaans for that. Gaan jy dot sit? En sodra jy dot daar sit, gaan die voornaamwoord ek verander na Andrew sê dat hy nie meer ek nie. En as sy dat daar staan, move the verb to the end of the sentence. It's going to go to the end of the sentence and the sentence is going to be Andrew sê dat hy baie goed Engels praat. Do you understand that, Malik? Yes, <coughs> yes ma'am. Okay. If you'd like, you can quickly write this down and just um, send me a yes if you guys um, are finished so I can quickly move on. That's right. Thank you, Nicole. Meneer Claire, I can you unmute. Ma'am, I don't really understand it. Meneer Claire, this is exactly what you did explained to me yesterday. This is just the steps to follow if you want to rewrite this sentence in a um, reported speech. You remember the YouTube video that you told us about that explained that if you have a direct spe speech, it has a colon and inverted commas. Yes. Okay. So this is just explaining how to rewrite this, this into a reported speech. Oh. So, Okay. This is exactly what we did yesterday. It was just um, it was just put together um, in an in another way, and it explained a little bit in English as well. So you can understand a bit more. Thank you, Manning Claire. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, Manning Claire. Okay. Good, good. It looks like most of you guys are finished, so we can move on. That's say. Good. Florence Nightingale is a heldin. Ek wil graag hee, jylle moet vir my mooi luister, guys. Listen carefully to the, um, luister mooi na die leestik. Goed, ons gaan naar die leestik doen. Luister mooi, ek gaan vele vraagies vraag na die tijd. Please listen carefully. I'm going to ask you guys some questions when I am finished. Goed, Florence Nightingale, a heldin. Florence Nightingale is in 1820 in die stad Florence in Italië gebore. Maar ouders het haar Florence genoem. Toe sy 24 jaar oud was, het sy een verpleegster geword. Haar droom was om siek mense te help. Die hospitale in daar die tyd was baie vuil en oorvol. Daar was ook nie genoeg verpleegsters en medicijne nie. In 1854 was daar oorlog. Florence het oorlog toegegaan om die soldaten te verpleeg. Sy het ander jong meisies gekry om haar te help. Florence was een voorbeeld vir amal. Sy was goed vir die siek mense. Sy het alles vir hulle gedoen en baie soldatese levens gereed. Florence Nightingale het die naam die vrou met die lamp gekry, want sy het s'nachts met die lamp, het s'nachts met die lamp die siekes besoek. Sy het licht in hulle lewe gebring. Haar story word vandag nog vertel. Sy het wonderlijke werk gedoen en sy was een heldin. Wie is die heldin in die story? Zoe, ek unmute jou. Dit is Florence Nightingale. Baie mooi, dankie Zoe. Yes, welkom. Darren, ek unmute jou. Ma'am, 
is the girl, which one of them is Florence Nightingale, the soldier, or the nurse? Okay. Um, Florence was the nurse. Let me quickly read that to you guys again. Is it fine, Taryn? Yes. Okay. I have Ask you, Taryn. Sorry, I, Taryn. I have the story. I have the story in my textbook. Yes, you would have it in the textbook. Yes. I forgot something. Ask is. I was just saying to myself what the title of my um textbook is. Okay. Need a second. Thank you, Taryn. Okay. Good. Offense. I can now unmute. Florence Nightingale. Bye, Amoy. Thank you, Fancy. You're welcome. Zoe, I can mute you. Ma'am, may you please go back to the slide? Mm -hmm. Can you please oh. go back to the slide? With the story? Can... No, ma'am. Which one, Zoe? The one, um, the one where you showed the steps for the um undirect and direct reader. Okay, Zoe, I'm just going to quickly move on with the comprehension test. Please just send me an email and I will email it to you. Is it fine? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Zoe. Anders gaan ons tijd uit haar club, jong. Goed, ek kies, ek gaan 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 een keer die story weer vir julle lees. Baie mooi tabelle. Florence, Night, Florence Nightingale. In 1820 in die stad, Flor, stad Florence in Italië is Florence, ek skies, Florence Nightingale is in 1820 in die stad Florence in Italië geboren. Haar ouders het haar Florence genoem. Florence is the nurse. They are talking about the nurse. Toe sy 24 jaar oud was, het sy een verpleegster geword. Een verpleegster is een nurse. Haar droom was om siek mense te help. Die hospitale in daar die tyd was baie veil en oorvol. Daar was nie genoeg verpleegsters en medicijne nie. They weren't enough nurses and medicine. In 1854 was daar oorlog. Florence het, oor, het oorlog toe gegaan om die soldaten te verpleeg. She went to war to help, um, to help the soldiers. Sy het ander jong meisies gekry om haar te help. Florence was een voorbeeld vir amal. She, was, she set an example for everybody. Sy was goed vir die siek mense en sy het alles vir hulle gedoen en baie soldaten sy levens gereed. Florence Nightingale het die naam vrou met die lamp gekry, want sy het snags met die lamp die siek mense bestoek. Sy het licht in hulle levens gebring. Haar story word vandag nog vertel en sy het de wonderlijke werk gedoen en was een heldin. Een heldin is die self, it's the same as a hero. Oké, okay, goed. Die heldin van die story was Florence Nightingale. Meneer Kle, ek gaan jou unmute. Yes, meneer Kle, ek kan mute jou, jong. Dat is sy, oopsie. Ma'am? Hmm. Oh, no, ma'am, I just wanted um, you to translate the story. Okay, do you understand it a little bit better now? Yeah, a little bit better. Okay. Thank you, Manin Clay. Yes, welcome. Good. See ya, Bonga. I can mute you. Ma'am, can you go back? Uh, to where, see ya, Bonga? 
the slide before the the Florence Nightingale story. <laughs> Um, Sia Bongo, we just quickly need to answer the questions first now, okay? Okay, Lou. Thank you, Sia Bongo. Offense, I can you unmute. Okay, good. Waar is sy gebore? Waar is sy gebore? Zou je ek unmute jou? Dat is Roma. Kijk hoe mooi. Waar is sy geboren? Daar is sy... Ook is ek wil jullie allemaal moet deelnemen. Dan tij dank je voor je vorige antwoord. Taren, ik ga jou unmute. Zij geboren in Florence in Italy. Boy, ja, mooi, dank je. Zij woont in zijn naam. Ja, dat was hij blij. Naar naam is het precies hetzelfde. Boy, ja, mooi, dank je, Taren. Ja, welkom. Goed. Wat er werk het sy gedoen? Wat er werk het sy gedoen? Guys, I want everybody to participate, please. You can either send me a message in the chat or raise your hand, but I want everybody to participate, please. Wat er werk het sy gedoen? Zoe, ek kan mute jou. Dit was een... Uh, um, Ma'am, how do you say nurse in Afrikaans again? Verpleegster. Dit was een verpleegster. Baie mooi, dankie Zoe. Jy is welkom. Goed, Tarun, ek kan mute jou. Zij hebben soldaten te helpen. Zij gaan weer. Zij hebben allemaal gehelp. Boy, mooi, zij hebben het gehelp. Oh, leuk. Goed. En zij was een verpleegster, nee. De, ja. As I Thank you, Taryn. Meninkle, I can mute you. Ma'am, how do you say nurse again? A uh, verpleegster. She was a verpleegster. Baie mooi, thank you, meninkle. Yeah, is welcome. Good. Wat er werk het sy gedoen? Jylle is baie oulik. Sy was een verpleegster. Goed, wie kan vir my in kort vertel wat het in die story gebeur? Who can in short quickly tell me what happened in the story? Baie mooi Malik, dankie vir jou antwoord. In short, who can quickly tell me what happened in the, in the story? Zoe, I can mute you. Ma'am, so Florence Nightingale, she was a nurse at the hospital, and then she, she, need, she needed to go and help the people in the army, and 
then um she was and then she also asked some other young girls and then um and then she was trying to set an example for everyone and then she became a hero by a way thank you sorry he's welcome Good, Saren, I can mute ya. Say, thank to awful and her help all these soldats. And the oil look. Okay, more. And say, what's bringing off your cones? Sh say what? What's bringing off your cones? Bring. Bring. Um, use it in this. You can say the sentence in English. Bring. She brought. Okay, and br um, this bring in Afrikaans. Pardon? It's this bring in Afrikaans. What's brought in Afrikaans? Gebring. Gebring. Yeah. And say gebring. Amazing. Plain Macy's met her. Okay. And that is all. Okay, boy, don't keep that in. You're welcome. I say I can mute you. Yes. And I also have the story of Lawrence. Okay. Can you quickly tell us shortly what happened? Asrat, would you quickly tell us shortly what happened in the story? I'm quickly going to mute you. I can't hear you. Hello. Hello. I, I don't know. Ha, ha, uh, Hank is online also. Uh, so Hank, far, uh, it, it was a dream to become a nurse. So, so the, 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 there wasn't enough medicine and Hi, yes. Hank, so then she decided to help them. She she gave examples uh, no, to the saying, other uh, nurse. Like is asking if we can test it by you guys. And, uh, and they call her just, the, like, I, I force it the lady with the, the, the lamp. Boy, I'm way. I can start to be a donkey. Yes, Malcolm. As boy, I'm like donkey. Good. So in court, was Florence geboren? In, in Florence, in Italy. She was 24 years old. She was a verpleegster. She was a nurse. Good. And then she died at the hospital. Baya file and overfall. And she had um, died at the hospital. And she had decided to go to the verpleeg. She had no dames to come to the She's she brought some other girls with her to help her um, with medical, medical daughter with soldiers. Good. She had in the night been cared and to today she tells people still about Florence Nightingale. She was a help. Okay. Any chat box? 
ek vinnig vir my. Amal moet deelneem, ons gaan baie vinnig dier die vraagies gaan. We're quickly going through this. Ok. Waar is na Florence gebore? Kies die rechte antwoord. Is dit A in Rome of B in Florence? Ek vraag dat amal in die chatbox ga gaf my tik asjeblief. Ons gaan baie vinnig dier die vraagies gaan. Ah, so, thank you, Zoe. It's the Florence is in Florence. Florence is in Florence. Oh, so that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Darren, I can you find out how you? Florence was in France. And say one and say no. Bye, I'm away. Thank you, Taryn. You're welcome. Okay. Good. What do Florence as for Plexter? What did you do as a nurse? In English? Ma'am? I think she helped her father. Okay. I think she helped her father and gave her and gave him more medicine. And she also she also helped on patients. Ah, so thank you, Manin Clay. Yeah, he is welcome. Good. Adaya, I can you unmute. So that we can say from uh, outside, we did check this from the world. My name is Hadia. Hadia, it's nice to meet you, Hadia. Okay. So I had to help the sick man, sir. Boy, I'm away. Thank you. Good. Taryn, I can mute you for now. So I had for the insect to help. I say, boy, thank you, Taryn. Zoe, I can you finish on mute. Florence, he helped the sick. Florence, help. The sick man, sir. Ah, say. Thank you, Zoe. He's welcome. Good. Florence said, the sick man is helped, gezond word. Baie dankie, Noma Temba. Prachtig vir jou, prachtige antwoord. En baie dankie, Malik, vir jou antwoord. Good. Wat er een pas nie? Which one does not fit? In die hospitale, in daar die daar, was baie skoon feil of te vol. Which one does not fit? Hospitale, in daar die daar, was skoon feil en te vol. Adaya, ek... Ja, hank, do you have, Stefan, a skoon? Baie mooi, dank jy. Good, Darren, I can mute you. Good, ma'am, it's scorn. Because scorn is a shoe. That's safe, boy. Thank you, Darren. You're welcome. Good, Zoe, I can mute you. Dit is A. Baie mooi. Dankie, Zoe. Is welkom. 
goed. Ons volgende vraag, die antwoord was skoon. In die chatbox het Malik my geantwoord, baie dankie en nom baten baie dankie. Goed, kies die rechte antwoord, die teenoorgestelde. Goed, Florence het die soldaten verpleeg van daar was. Was daar oorlog of was daar vrede? Wat er een van die twee is raag? Florence het die soldaten verpleeg van daar was oorlog of was daar vrede? Hadaya, ek gaan jou aanmute. What does it mean? Uh, okay, I was asking Florence to help the soldiers. She knows the soldiers. Because they were war or were they peace? You must choose the correct one. Voila. Baie mooi, dankie. Zoe, ek kan mute jou. Dit is oorlag. Baie mooi, dankie. Dit was oorlog. Goed. B. Florence was die vrou met die lamp, want sy besoek snag, bedags of snags, day or night, die siek soldaten. Taryn, ek kan mute jou. Um, dit is um, bedag. Ok, that one was day or night. Bedags beteken in die dag en snags beteken in die nacht. When did she visit the soldiers with the lamb? Snag. Snag. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, say. Thank you, Taryn. You're welcome. <laughs> Good. Meninkle, I can mute you again. Oké. Okay. Goed, ek gaan nie nou allemaal antwoord. Ons gaan uit, 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 uit. Yes, my name is okay. My mom don't have an answer. You don't have an answer? Yes. It's fine, my name Claire. Thank you. Jy yeah, is wel cool. Goed. Florence was die vrou met die lamp, want sy besoek bedags of snags. Die syk soldaten, sy tere, snags besoek. Goed. Ek wil hee, ons moet gaan gaan eerst die huiswerk afskryf. I want us to quickly do the homework before we go. Sorry. Ok. This dialogue, quickly take a picture please. I want you guys to write this in the indirect speech for me and email it to me please. All of these sentences, I want you guys to write it in the reported speech and email it to me. Skryf asseblief vir my hierdie dialoog oor in um, direct, indirecte rede en e-post dit vir my asseblief. Ek gaan gauw vir julle my niet gee. As jy klaar een foto geneem het of afgeskryf het, stuur net gauw vir my een yes, dat ek weet julle het dit. Ek wil dankie sê vir Bandile, want ek het haar huiswerk ontvang gister. Adaya, I can mute you. What should we do with the homework? Sorry? What should we do with the homework? Okay, you must take this sentence and write it in an indirect speech for me, or it's called a reported speech. So, then you go and you write it for example. Florence said, good um, night, and she asked how she feels. You're going to write this in okay. indirect speech for me, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Adaya.
goed, ek het meeste van die kinders wat my klaar gestuur het, yes. Oké, okay, goed. Um, ek gaan gauw terug gaan na die eerste slide toe van die indirecte rede. Voor die wat hem nog afgeskryf het, Zoe, daar is hy. Dat jy hom mooi kan afskryf. So, so, for Heiswerk, for homework, I want you guys to please go write that dialogue um, in reported speech. I will graag jylle met sy bleef om vir my indirecte rede skryf. Hierso is vele reels van die indirecte rede. Goed, stuur, om, stuur as sy bleef vir my jylle Heiswerk. I would like to encourage you to please do your homework and send it to me. Ek hoop jylle allemaal het een vreselike lekker dag. En dit was baie lekker om jylle weer te om jylle weer hier te sien. Ek sien weer vir jylle morgen. Bye bye.